Hey beauties, Laura here. In today's video, I am going to talk about a very sensitive subject because I believe everyone should hear a story for us parents, especially us moms. This is a, the birth story of how I gave birth to my daughter, Kyrie Day Paulus Kais. This is a story about how I died and how I came back. In the year 2016, I found out that I was pregnant with my daughter. And at six weeks and six days, at the pink Pepto-Bismol building, known as Tripler Army Medical Center, I got to see my daughter in person. The doctor that went to check, you know, see how I'm doing via ultrasound, like, looked said everything was good but they saw a blueberry sized fibroid tumor which is benign means it's not deadly was growing outside next to the uterus and they said we're just gonna look out for it see what we can do i'm like okay that's fine but i do have a birth plan i would like to do a c-section on this day because it's that perfect in between because my daughter's original due date was may 27th he said and I quote, don't worry, try to go natural as possible and we can see from there. I looked at him like, my mom had three C-sections with all of us. My, I was the emergency and the other two was planned. And then he said, again, we will see. And I'm like, all right, fine. If I die, I die. Boy, did I eat my own words when it came to that. And I proved them right. So at 41 weeks in a day, Kyrie comes to the world. But if we go to when I was only exactly 41 weeks, I was called in at the hospital. Again, was the learning facility hospital saying, we would like for you to come in so we can induce you. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's get induced. Get in there. You know, apparently they noticed I was having contractions, but without the pain, I'm like, that is awesome. They put the bulb in me, everything, get me Pitocin, which we later found out that I was severely allergic to it, but luckily not anaphylactic shock-wise. But they still had me on it, and they were pushing for me to get epidural. I'm like, no, let's try to do 24 hours without it first, please. The pain got so severe because of the Pitocin. I was crying at each contraction. And again, every parent is different. Keep that in mind. Don't judge. I see you trolls. Watch out. And my husband was my proxy. So after 24 hours in severe pain in between my contractions, he asked me, honey, do you want that epidural? You are in so much pain and I hate seeing you in pain. I'm like, yes, yes, give me the epidural. And, you know, epidural went in beautifully, thank goodness. And then I relaxed for a little bit. I went from two centimeters to four centimeters, but I was stuck in four centimeters for such a long time. And with the water gone, you know, broke my water, we knew right away around 11 o'clock we are going to have to do a c-section i'm like that is fine i already knew it right away because no one would listen to me about it especially when i said it the first time and the nurse was like what do you mean i'm like i wanted a plan cesarean for this day but the doctor said no keep in mind i do have a medical degree as a medical office assistant i got it at miller Mod technical college thank you double n t c and so the due date was May 27th, but I wanted it to do May 15th because it was 28 weeks. It was somewhere between my dad's birthday, which is Cinco de Mayo, and my mom's birthday, May 30th, which sometimes can be Memorial Day. The time comes for the C-section. I was laying down, my husband on one side, the anesthesiologist on the other. The doctor said, okay, you're gonna feel some pressure. I'm like, that's fine. Next thing you know. I started feeling pressure. 
I say, guys, I'm feeling really bad pressure. I feel pressure. I feel pressure. And then next thing you know, I hear a little baby girl cry. And then I flatlined and died. If you guys seen the bridge from Thor, the Rainbow Bridge, imagine that on all four walls and running around it like it's a maze. And then from the bright rainbow, it started fading into darkness. And as soon as I was about to get into that darkness, I hear this voice that told me to stop. I turn around and I see Tilda, who plays the White Queen and the Supreme Wizard, all bald and everything. Yes, including the baldness. And they were in ethereal robes. I turn around and I see them. And I'm like, why you stop? And then they said, come follow me. And I said, where we're going? They said, come follow me. And I was walking next to them. And that darkness of rainbow turned into bright rainbow and then it turned to pastels. And that pastels fatally turned into white. And then we got close to beautiful wooden double doors. We stopped in front of it. They said, okay, we're here. I looked at them and I said, what are we here for? To meet her. Meet who? And the final words that they said before I woke up was, your daughter. The doors open up and I wake up. My fate was, my sight was dark at first, but as I was blinking, more light came through and there I saw a little girl wrapped in a bundle of a blanket, swaddled all nice and neatly sleeping, and I see my husband sleeping next to her. Um... My voice all scratchy, being like, honey, what happened? He looks at me and starts shouting for the nurse. The nurse comes in, and she told me what happened, that I died. But luckily, with a little bit of zip zip, I came back, and it turned out I lost four bags full of blood. Well, three to four bags full of blood because of the fibroid tumor. I asked, how come you guys didn't take it out? They said, that's a whole different operation. Again, keep in mind, this was a learning facility. The nurse that was watching over me during that time, during labor and delivery, said, I am sorry that I let you down. I'm sorry I did not listen. You were right, and I'm so sorry. Next, you know, the doctor that I first met came in. He remembers me and said, I am so sorry. And next, thing you know... I was in the recovery room with my daughter, just enjoying the best time with her. And now here I am today, a mom who loves her body, who loves her little girl, and enjoying life, learning to live through it as best as I can, showing my daughter it's okay to be herself. Everything. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of how I, Laura Paulus, was pregnant with a little girl, had a C-section, died, and came back to life. The story isn't supposed to be scaring off new moms who are going to have a C-section. This is a story of how you need to tell your doctors that you have a specific birth plan for a reason and why. Let this story teach you to learn to stick to your birth plan. Stay strong as you can for your little girl or boy or kids and show them that you can do it. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I love you guys from my heart to yours. Mwah. Bye, beauties.